Hi everyone, today we're going to do grammar in module 2, page 25, defining and non-defining relative clauses. Relative clauses are introduced by relative pronouns who, which, that, whose, and the relative adverb, where. So relative clauses ini ialah ayat yang bermula dengan perkataan who, which, that, whose, where. So for people, we use who atau that. Things, animals, ideas, we use which or that. Possession, kepunyaan, kita guna whose. And place, we use where. Defining relative clauses give information which is needed to understand the meaning of the sentence. Defining relative clauses memberi maklumat yang diperlukan untuk memahami satu ayat. They are not separated from the main clause by commas. Tidak perlu guna koma. For example, She's that girl who or that lives next door. Dia lah perempuan yang tinggal di sebelah. The defining relative clause here ialah who that lives next door. So defining relative clause ini memberi maklumat tentang perempuan ini. Kalau ayat ini she's the girl sahaja memang gantung. The next example, the book which or that you bought is on the desk. Buku yang kamu beli ada atas meja. The defining relative clause here is which that you bought is on the desk. So defining relative clause ini memberi lebih maklumat tentang buku itu. Non-defining relative clauses give extra information about the person, thing or idea they refer to. So non-defining relative clauses memberi maklumat yang lebih. They are always separated from the main clause by commas. Ia dipisahkan dengan koma. For example, Mr. Brown who is our geography teacher, is quite old. Mr. Brown, guru geografi kami, sangat tua. So the non-defining relative clause here is, who is our geography teacher? Ayat ini ialah maklumat ekstra tentang Mr. Brown. Kalau kita buang ini ayat, Mr. Brown is quite old, tidak mengubah maksud ayat ini. The next example, our car, which cost a lot, keeps breaking down. Kereta kami yang harga sangat mahal, selalu rosak. The non-defining relative clause here is which cost us a lot. So ini ialah maklumat extra. Kalau kita buang ini ayat pun, our car keeps breaking down. Kita faham kereta itu sentiasa rosak. So I want you to try to do this exercise here. Circle the correct words and add commas when necessary. So first, kamu kena pilih dulu relative pronoun yang betul. Kamu kena tengok. Kalau dia orang, kamu kena who atau that. Kalau dia benda, haiwan atau idea, kamu guna which atau that. Kalau possession, kepunyaan, kamu guna whose. Dan kalau tempat, kamu guna where. Bila kamu sudah jumpa dia punya relative clause, kamu kena tentukan sama ada dia defining or non-defining. Kalau dia non-defining, iaitu maklumat yang extra, kamu kena tambah koma. For example, number one. Zobbing, which or that, is an activity from New Zealand is popular around the world nowadays. So the correct relative pronoun here is which and the relative clause here is which is an activity from New Zealand. Kamu rasa ini maklumat extra atau maklumat yang penting? It's actually maklumat extra. So this is a non-defining relative clause so kamu kena tambah koma. So it's zobbing, koma, which is an activity from New Zealand, koma, is popular around the world nowadays. Okay, let's look at another example, number two. This is the website which or where I found the information about skydiving. So relative pronoun yang digunakan di sini menunjukkan di mana, so it's where. This is the website where I found the information about skydiving. And the relative clause here is where I found the information about skydiving. Kalau kita buang ini satu ayat, this is the website dia tinggal. Ada maksud atau tidak? Tiada maksud. So, this is a defining relative clause, iaitu maklumat yang penting. So, kita tidak payah tambah koma di sini. So, try to do the others. That's all for today. Thank you.